Okay, everyone. Tonight's target is the Rosette Nebula, which is NGC 2244. So I switched back from my 8 inch, the Celestron 8SC, back over to my 80 millimeter refractor, the uh, Skywatcher ED Pro. And my moonlight autofocuser came in about five days ago, but we had clouds, snow, clouds, all the kind of stuff. So I finally got everything installed, and I've been going at this. The time is 11.32 p.m. I first set everything up at 7 p.m. Nothing but failures. Nothing worked. Uh, auto guiding was all over the place like a roller coaster. I mean, the, the graphs were everywhere. I could not get the telescope to line up even after I do my star alignment. Nothing worked. I don't know what the problem was. I had to reset my um, AVX back to factory defaults and reset my latitude, longitude, and stuff like that in and reset the time, time zone, all that. Then finally, it, could, it was starting to find my calibration star and everything. And then after that, I could not get the autofocuser to work for anything. I kept reading, even opened up stuff on Sequence Generator Pro, reading some posts I could not get it to work for anything well here's a my guiding finally I mean it's not the best I mean I don't really care right now because I finally got from what looks like everything is working I haven't tweaked my numbers back from since I've had my ADSC on this mount so I did change a few settings to get it to smooth back down a little bit let me clear it out just to see if it settles down but the stars are very round now with the autofocuser so let me go back to sequence generator pro and I tried the, uh, this target, M45, and then finally looked outside and saw that basically Orion was in clear view of my house, so I switched back to the Rosette Nebula. Still had problems, but finally what I had to do was, um, I really can't remember what I had to do. Oh, it was about my home position on the focus, or I had to change my zero position. It was some crazy stuff. I can't explain it, but... um. And here's the focus of stuff down here. Uh, don't really know what half this stuff is. I know it has a temperature probe on there. And I think it just, I, I don't know, I haven't read up on it yet, but um, here's a, oops, go back over here. Here's the first few HA frames have come down on the Rosette Nebula. And as you can see, the Nebula is all right here and all the clouds. And the stars look very round. I'm going to zoom in. And the autofocuser did run its. Uh, steps and everything you know creates like a, um, a u-shape like on a graph and everything looks very round let me zoom in a little bit more yeah so far all the stars look pretty round so i guess the autofocus is doing its job we will find out. I know that the Moonlight autofocuser, the whole setup is about four pounds, a little bit over four pounds. So that was a lot of weight. I had to rebalance everything all over again. Uh, it looks pretty good. Let me go back to fit the screen. So well, that looks pretty good to be um, just a raw image coming down right now. But I don't have too much longer, maybe a few hours, maybe three hours before this nebula gets behind my house and I can't see it. So I'm going to just let it run for a little bit tonight. Um, I'm only set for three minute exposures. I'm doing 60. I doubt if I get all 60 in. Let me see. I have This says five hours. I might have bumped this down to like two hours. Yeah. Just do one set of frames tonight because it's going to get behind my house. I, I spent a lot of time on this setup and a lot of stuff wasn't working. I mean, not a lot of information out there on the web as far as what to set, how to set it up because the people that are using it, they aren't posting anything. That's why I had to rely on Chuck's astrophotography for the video that he put out there because not a lot of it's not a lot of help out here on this kind of topic. Just had to figure it out on my own kind of deal. Anyway, um, I'm gonna see how this runs and all right, well that's it for now.